everybody knows that I am secret. Hi guys, so today's DIY is going to be pencil cases as well as some pencil designs. So you guys are going to need some fabric glue, some zippers, a pair of scissors, I had to use some measuring tape, but if you have a ruler, I definitely recommend that. And of course, some fabric. So the first design I'll be showing you guys, which I'll be showing you three, this is the first one here. So you're gonna to wanna to start off by measuring your first fabric. It's gonna be 10 inches by 10. You can definitely use a ruler. I had to use a measuring tape because unfortunately my dog ate my ruler, so yes. And then I just use chalk to mark the areas where I will be cutting. You can use a pencil or a pen, whatever you desire. After you cut your fabric, you're going to want to place the inside of it facing up and fold it half an inch on each side, then iron it down like so. Once you finish ironing the sides, place your zipper directly in the middle. If you need to grab your ruler to make sure each side is equal, then go ahead and do so. The glue I'll be using is by Eileen's Fabric Fusion Clear Adhesive. Now place the glue along each side of the zipper. Then you're gonna grab the fabric of the inside of the fold that we ironed, place that onto the glue. And then just go ahead and pat it very gently and then let it dry for about a minimum of at least two hours before continuing on to the next step. Once the glue is dried, unzip the zipper and fold this inside out. You're going to want to zip it back up, but I accidentally zipped the zipper all the way, so I recommend zipping only halfway. That way it's a lot easier for you to unfold it back out later on. Place the zipper to the top or edge, kind of like hamburger style, I guess, before gluing the sides. You're going to glue the inside about one centimeter in on each side and then just let it fully dry overnight. And I did end up using these small bobby pins that you see here, which I place on the top corners to hold the glue together. Unfold it once more for the design facing out and you have your first pencil case design all finished. Woohoo! So on to design number two, which is my favorite. This one's a little bit different from your normal pencil case. This one has a design inside of it than your just regular boring same design. Uh, this one is bigger, so it's gonna be 12 by 12. The zipper that you're gonna want is going to be about nine inches. So what I did to make sure that both sizes were accurate, I just go ahead and placed the top one over the polka dot one, and then I just cut along on the sides. And that white top part that you're seeing, where I'll touch right now, I ended up just cutting off, so don't worry about that. And you're gonna to wanna to follow the same exact steps that we did on the first design. Just go ahead and fold each side about half an inch and then iron it down. Same thing as design number one, you're gonna to want to place the zipper in the middle and then just go ahead and put glue on the sides of it. Make sure not to get any glue on the zipper because it will get stuck and your zipper won't unzip, unfortunately. And then if you do need more glue, go ahead and use it. It's not one of those things where less is more because more is definitely more in the situation and a lot more glue does help. You're gonna make sure to let it dry for at least two hours. I let this one dry for about four hours. And then same thing again as design number one, unzip it halfway and then just go ahead and unfold it from the inside out. And then this one, it's not gonna be the same design now as where we put the zipper all the way to the edge. This one we're going to leave it exactly how it is, leave it in the middle. I ended up zipping it a little bit more just to make sure that it was accurate for when I glue on the sides. Put the glue as close as possible to the edge. I went about a centimeter in and I just glued all the way till the end of like where the zipper starts and then just pat it down. Once you're done, just go ahead and let this bad boy dry overnight. 
So once your design is all dry, just go ahead and unzip it a little bit more and then unfold it from the outside in this time. And then your second design pencil case is all done. It's so cute. This one is definitely my favorite one that I've done. <laughs> So to go along with your adorable pencil cases, you'll need some pretty darn cute decorative pencils, if I should say so myself. <laughs> so the items that you'll need are just some of the new washi decorative tape. You can find these at any craft stores, um, Office Depot, and etc. Of course, you'll need some pencils. I got these for 77 cents at Target, as well as some white craft paint. Before you spray paint your pencil, make sure you get a piece of tape, put it on the back of your hand, that way it doesn't get too sticky for when you try pulling it off, and then just cover the silver part as well as the eraser. And the craft paint that I'm using I got from Hobby Lobby, it's by Krylon. And then just go ahead and spray paint your pencil all the way through on each side. Make sure that it's fully dry before you use the tape. I let it dry for about an hour. And then just pick the choice that you want for your decorative washi tape. I just placed the tape right underneath the silver of the eraser and then I just went all the way down to the bottom of the pencil and then you're going to want to go ahead and press down there's gonna be basically like three corners of the pencil and I rubbed each one just like one by one out of three so that way I didn't get any bumps uh, those like little bubbles that you get and you're going to go ahead and do a set of two of the tape. One tape's not going to unfortunately wrap all the way around of the pencil. So you'll just do one on one side and then go ahead and measure it again. And you're going to do a second one as well on the other side. So to cut that bottom piece off, what I did is I just twisted it all the way to a bit of a knot and then just go ahead and cut it off like that. And then go ahead and sharpen your pencil and you have your cute decorative pencils ready for school as well as your pencil cases. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I hope you guys have a great first day of school. And don't forget to check out my summer lookbook as well. Alright you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye!